So right now we'll open the project view and uh, we're gonna go inside this animation folder that contains our rotate.xml and I'm gonna right click it and then new animation resource file and so we're gonna use a scale animation so I'm gonna call it scale.xml now as I click OK we have this uh, scale.xml created and then I'm just gonna go and type in left chevron scale so I'm gonna say from x scale 1 so that means uh, this is just in percentages so from 100% to x scale 1.5 so that means uh, 150% same thing I'm gonna do with uh, the y scale is gonna start from 1 and it's gonna go to 1.5 the pivot is gonna be 50% so that means exactly in the center okay so uh, just goes like this and also for the duration we're gonna specify 800 and so that's just gonna be 800 milliseconds roughly one second and then we can just uh, end this with a slash and so we have our scale animation now we can just go in main activity and reference it so I'm gonna close the project view and I'm gonna go in the on create method which is uh, just right here so where we initialize the variables I'm just gonna say scale animation equals animation utils just to load my animation and then I'm gonna say this context and then uh, I can find uh, the animation by typing in r dot animation so resources animation and then scale so I can reference it and then finally I have to apply it two times so I have to apply it whenever uh, a letter is guessed correctly in my word and uh, so I'm gonna start with that so I'm gonna go right now in this uh, in this check if letter is in word method so just right here and if the letter was not displayed yet and the user guessed it correctly then we're gonna start the animation so we're gonna say animate and so what we need to animate is that txt were to be guessed and we're gonna say start animation and then we have to pass this scale animation so uh, that's how it should be working and also there is one more thing before we run the emulator we should also scale this uh, axis that represent the tries left so the user if the user guesses incorrectly then we're just gonna decrease uh, one of those uh, axes and also we're gonna zoom it in so just uh, we're gonna go right now and make sure that we have that all also so um, when the user uh, inputs something wrongly then uh, we're just gonna go and zoom in so we have to go and see whenever uh, we decrease uh, that uh, number of uh, tries left and that's exactly in this decrease and display tries left and um, just right here we have to start our animation so uh, this is where we take out the last two characters from the string and just before it we can just leave a comment animate so what we need to animate is this txt tries left and so we're gonna say start animation and then we pass the scale animation to it and now we should have everything set up correctly and I run my emulator so that we can see everything uh, how it works on the screen and so we're just gonna see in a moment we have to wait until it loads and so now we have everything set up on the screen so if I just type in let's say A now as you can see it was incorrect so uh, we can see one decreasing you can type in E that was something that was already there now if I type in R you can see that again so I'm gonna type in a couple of other things and hopefully I can just uh, see one correctly so we lost on this one but still we saw the animation I'm gonna reset it and I'm gonna type in uh, let's say A so as you can see we have that over there in the letter and then I'm typing in R 
and we have that correctly set up. Now we also want when we uh, win uh, this, uh, we also want to add some animation, and uh, I'm going to show you how we can do this. So we can go in uh, wherever we display that you want. We can add the zooming animation, but I just prefer to add something else over there, and I'm going to show you in the next video.